Okay, so let's continue with this sample project that comes with Revit 2024. And I am on the roof. Okay, so, so I've gone from the parking area up to the roof with the cold water. And let's see, let's, let's do I want to take a look. Let's do 3D plumbing. That might be a good idea. So this is the basement area. And I think that this is our pipe. What's going on here? Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, so I think that's our pipe. Let's tab that, and it looks like. So we're in the basement, and it goes through the basement area, and it goes up, it's up to the roof. Okay. Now the architects and the structure is not showing, just so I can show you guys what is going on with the plumbing okay so that's the um, i'm not going to worry about any interferences this is an interference okay in this area i'm not worrying about that i'm not going to worry about that part of it um so so we're up in the roof area so so I can supply these fixtures with this one inch, that's a one inch pipe, okay. So what I'm gonna need to do is supply this water heater with cold water. So how do I do that, okay? But before I do that, I guess there's two or three ways you can, you can do, you can pipe up this, the two laboratories and go here, it doesn't matter. But what matters is connecting all of this information. And the reason the cold water is going over here is because the hot water heater is going to heat it, and I need to go back to these two laboratories. So what I'm going to do, and since the, the laboratories are higher than the, my two water closets, I'm going to come down into this pipe chase, and I'm going to change this fitting so that it continues. I can actually make this part. I'm going to go here and then go three quarter inch. Um, but I'm going to need that one inch. Well, you know, wait, 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 wait. I think I can go three quarter inch to both. So this pipe is going to be three quarter inch. So I can change that to the three quarter inch. Okay. And we're going to come here. And the cold water is on the right, so it would be here. So I'm going to come out and make sure that it's I get my right type. I'll probably leave the water on PVC and have my sanitary with sanit PVC. I'm going to distinguish between the two. I don't know why. I might change it later. I might change the PVC to have its own prop, its own uh, system. Like PVC, PVC hot water or PVC cold water, maybe a hot water return. Um, pipe type might be better just to say PVC for all of my systems or copper for all of the systems. No, I don't know. You know, it depends on your office standard. Um, I'm going to come out PVC and then my cold water system is here. Let's see, I think I can go here. And my cold water is gonna be on the right hand side, so I'm gonna go here and here. And let's do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I got a elbow. I thought it was gonna connect, but let me go back and restart and drag. Okay, so that worked out. <clears throat> so it looks like I have room in this area to line it up with this pipe. So I'm gonna line up, what's that, half inch? Okay, that's okay. I can change this to a half inch. Um, let's go half inch. And let's just put it about right there. So I'm gonna come off the three quarter inch in this area and go over to the water heater. 
But for now, I'm gonna line this guy up. I'm gonna line one pipe to the second pipe. Oops, I didn't wanna do it like that. I want to align one pipe to the second pipe. Yeah, okay. So this is going to have an elbow in it because it needs to go up. So I'm going to right there. And that elbow looks good. Maybe bring it out a little bit just because. Okay, so that's the cold water. Now I want to have my cold water go over to my um, water to my water heater but first what I need to do is look at some interferences and what I don't do is if my interference is my HVAC is on cancel why is the HVAC not showing uh 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 HVAC is on. Um, is it my views? What's going on? Let's go here and look at my view range. Okay, so I know it's not, if, if there is, let's go negative 10. I just want to see something. It's still not on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Something is not right here. Negative 20. Okay, so let's go here and go negative 5 again. Okay, cancel. Um, that's my roof plan. Let's go down one. The sanitary. And look at my roof plan. This is going to happen in the office, okay? So I don't want to sugarcoat this as if nothing, um, uh, everything goes smooth like a video, okay? This is not a game. Uh, so I would want to, what's going on with my HVAC? Okay, so it shows up. Let's look at. Uh, my plumbing roof plan and go here let's just take a look and see I thought there was plumbing on the roof plan area but I could be wrong it's not showing up so I should take Revit at its face face value I'm trying to get this guy to be wider and I guess I can look at this let's go to the view Right click, go to view, and let's see. Let's turn on the HVAC. Uh, Revit links, HVAC is on. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> that's negative green. I should be seeing um, below, I should be seeing it. That's a negative six. Let's go back uh, three roof. Now, the HVAC is not on. Let's do this. What was I doing? Uh, wait a minute. What happened? What button was I pushing that wasn't the right button? Wait, 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 let's go back. So I wanna find out what, what happened. Why? So I went here and Revit links. That's not, I don't know what happened. I'm not sure what happened because the last time this this was checked and there was no there was no HVAC there was none there was none it did not show up 
It did not show up. But it's showing up now. Okay, whatever. Um, let's undo this. Well, first, okay, well, I know it's below, so I'm good. Um, so, yeah, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so let's go back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Let's go back and use uh, Create Similar, because there's no um, HVAC. Okay, so that's good. So we're still, wait a minute. Yeah, we're still under the floor. No, this is above. That can't be right. I have to go down, don't I? Let's rotate this in place. Go here. Um, I want to go 90. And look at this. Okay. So we got this pipe. Where is it? Yeah, it's above. So I can't go. I can't do that because it's going to be coming out of the wall, right? Let's go back and, and I can undo that. Undo, 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 undo. Can I undo? Okay, and this is going to be a large gap. So I need to go back before it goes, before it comes up. So it's probably somewhere in here, okay? So if I come over, it's gonna be in here before I come up because this is coming up. This elbow goes up, this elbow goes down. So I know that this, I can, I'm still under the floor. So let's look, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, I did. Uh, similar, so that's going to be PVC by default. And let's go around and rotate this guy. Make sure that I'm okay. I think I can go here. So I want to give a, another reference. Okay, so I go here, another the water closet, and let's go to that view. Okay, so this is where we are. Okay. So it goes up. Let me make this plane. Let me come down some and just get this piece so we can look at it a little bit closer. And let's go to the section. Okay. Um, I'm outside. So that looks good. So what I'm trying to do is Let's do this. You have to think about, so what I'm thinking about is how am I gonna connect, okay? And it, and, and it becomes blurry when you're in this environment, right? Okay, so we, we can see that it's, it's, oh, it's, we need to go over somewhere. But what I wanna do is go to my target, okay? This is, would be the source. And this is the target area. So I'm going to go like this. Um, and I know it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be lower. But this guy, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Okay. So this is where we are. I want to make that a little higher. Right? Let's go up. And we're here. So I'm going to raise the bar. Use my shift key and my arrow key to go up about right there, okay? Because the cold water is going to come from below this uh, water closet. I mean, yeah, this water heater. Um, but I'm going to connect into, using one of the tools for Revit, connect into the cold water. I'm going to say yes and connect into here, okay? So I think I can put an elbow in here. Here, here, uh, this is three quarter inch. Yeah, so three quarter inch. And what we're gonna do is, I think, 
let's just uh, let's go back. I can change this to a half inch. Okay, that's a one inch. I want that to be a three quarter inch. What's going on down here? Oh, it's a one inch. I want this to be three quarter inch. Okay, so uh, so now. Huh. Uh, <laughs> this is so this is what happens okay guys this is what happens you're editing most of the time if you're like me uh, let's go here and I think that what I'm gonna do is so we got that That's fine. I'm going to leave it like that. It's still in the wall space. And I think that I can fill it. Let's do that. Let's see what Revit does. From here, here, and here. So that looks, that looks good. Um, so it's still going down, 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 down. Okay. And when I go to my visibility links, HVAC, make sure that everything is good. Okay, there's just was looking for vents, but that's gonna change, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so that looks good. I think that that's gonna tie up the cold water. Um, let's see if we have our, still have our fixture units. Should be 10.5, yes. Okay, and there's no, um, there's no interference with the, with the, I don't know why I did that. I want the other one, I want my view range, I mean my visibility to turn off the HVAC. Okay, so, so we've hooked up the water heater and the two labs based off of what we had from, from when we first started this editing process. Okay, so there's many ways you can do this, but you, if, when, when you're coming across uh, information or when you're trying to uh, supply your fixtures or your equipment, it's always good to look at your source, where your source is coming from and your target and maybe work backwards, okay? Go to your target and work backwards to your, to your source and when you when you're doing this type of editing you always want a reference okay if if i'm looking at this from this uh 3d from this <laughs> section from this third section i don't know where the water heater is okay so you always want to as as much as you can you want to include your target area or your source area okay your your target and you you want a reference in other words so that's my reference I know if I'm working from from my source to my target then I want to include this information okay and you and now you know you can go up and you know where your your target is okay so it's always a good practice to if when you're using your um, section views, you want to be smart about it, right? Not just go um, and maybe this is going to work. There's always, you're always doing something that's, that you're thinking, thinking about. It's probably just intuitive that you're going to think about what you're doing and including me, you know, you're not, you're not always thinking about, well, what's the best approach to do this? And it, it, it depends on, you know, your practice, how, how well, how, how long you've been doing it. You know, some people have a practice of doing it this way, and some people have a practice of doing it another way. Some people may not even use this rotate button. They may go here and do, they come here and do rotate and do the angle, right? Do 90 degrees, right? So whatever that is. But for me, I don't like to use it because it, 
it throws off the um, it throws off my rotate my rotation wherever it is. Now if I do 90, let's rotate again, and let's go a negative 90. Okay, and sometimes it's not going to come in view of what you're doing, right? Because if I was doing it like this, and I wanted to rotate 90, it's going to go out of view. Let's undo that. But if I rotate in place, well, let's go back, back, back. If I rotate in place, it's going to stay there. Let's do this. It's going to stay within my view. That now I can see. I can still see what I'm doing, and I'm not going to lose my train of thought. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm doing a close-up here so I can see if there's any interference with my, with my pipe. And I can see that there is interference with this um, beam. Okay. So that's not going to work. I'm coming up through the beam. So it might be a good idea for me to go back. See, I'm going up through the beam here. So if I turn on, let's turn on the uh, structure. Okay, and let's look through the floor, little wireframes. So it looks like it's going through here. Let's go back. Take a good look at it. And we may have to go, let's go back to this 3D view and look at our, um, look at our structure drawing. Okay, that's the structure drawing and all I want to see, all I wanna see, I can go to the st structure Post view, but we're going to customize it, okay? Well, the only thing that's going to be showing are these beams. I'm going to turn off everything but those guys. Let's go S. I think it's going to be maybe structural framing. Uh, let's go columns, beam system. Let's see what happens. I can just turn on everything. But I don't want the f floor, so... Let's see, okay, so that's, that's what we have, okay? So it's going through the beam here. So I need to lower, okay? It's gonna go lower, and let's see if I can make it lower. Yeah, I can go come lower, because this, you see? It's going under the beam, Not those beams, but it's turning. Well, it's turning, And it's hitting, okay? So I don't want that. Okay? So we're doing a little house cleaning as we go. So I need to lower it, it looks like, because this needs to be lower. And let's do this. And you see I'm going up through this beam here. This is what we saw earlier. So I need to come out some. I need to come down. Let's do come down I can come over this way okay and we go back you see now it's coming out of the beam now it's no longer inside I can come out a little bit more and that looks it's okay okay it's tight but you know, the contractor can can um, figure it out. Just this is just a graphic representation, right? Um, and I think we need to go lower. So let's go to three, and let's look at our pipe. Yeah, see, we need to go under this guy. So let's go down. We're going down, down, down. Okay, so that's gonna. That's going to give us a clearance that we can, we can hang our hat on, right? So go back and we go over and it's going under, okay? And it's going to go down, yeah. So it looks like we cleared that up. So again, 
as part of the process, how you're doing this information, this Revit, okay? So this is a bit of a interference, but this pipe can move more toward the wall, right? We're here. Uh, let's go back. This guy. We are here, and I can move it. Can't move pin. Let's go here again. And unpin and move. Move. What happened? It's not moving. Move, move. Move, 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 move. What's that? Let's go back and reset it. Yeah, it looks like it's okay. Okay, so yeah, it's okay. So we come off of that, and you can go through the rest of this, your, you know, your uh, drawings. But I usually don't, don't mess with like little stuff. This this might be trivial by itself, but I just wanted to, to let you guys see that you can, if you want to, you can go back and edit stuff. Okay. So and this one. I'm going to leave alone, right? Who knows how the contract is going to work it out. But that's just that's just um, some of the ways that you're going to go through this process of doing your Revit, okay? It's not all about changing colors, and, okay? And doing, you know, of course, you know, it's parameters and the rest of it, you know, how to learn how to learn how to build families and all of that. That's good. <laughs> but a lot of that don't pay the bills because you can cheat on the family. OK, you can put a couple of the connectors on there on a piece of box and call it a water closet. I mean, call it a, a water heater. So but this is your bread and butter when you're using Revit, you know, your systems, how you get from point A to point B, how are you gonna uh, coordinate with your structure, your mechanical, that's your bread and butter, okay? Building families is nice. Knowing uh, uh, parameters and all of that, changing colors and all of that is nice and your system browser and all of that, how to set up sheets and that's wonderful. This, your bread and butter. Okay, I hope that helped, guys. And I will talk to you guys later.